Can you talk about like, you talked about how EMF impacts mitochondria and prevents them from making as much energy. I mean, could this be related to this explosion of chronic disease in the world? Well, uh, there is a definite link between electromagnetic radiation and uh, chronic diseases in the world. And the reason is that when you suppress the uh, production of ATP in oxidative phosphorylation, it's a little bit like uh, pressing a garden hose and restricting the flow of water. And when you press a garden hose, sometimes there's leaks that sprout, you know, uh-huh. elsewhere. <clears throat> and with oxidative phosphorylation, it's exactly the same thing that happens. When you restrict the production of ATP, you increase membrane polarization of the inner membrane, and you make complex one and complex three. Those are big molecules within oxidative phosphorylation, more leaky. They will leak more oh. electrons. And these electrons simply end up as reactive oxygen species. And there is an absolutely convincing body of scientific evidence that says that electromagnetic radiation of all sorts increases the amount of reactive oxygen species in living tissues. This is absolutely oh. proven. And reactive oxygen species cause inflammation, which is basically at the the core of most chronic disease. Yes, most chronic diseases have been connected by physiologists to the generation of reactive oxygen species. As you described, inflammation has uh, been uh, in uh, in the spotlight recently by biochemists who have detailed the mechanisms by which this this occurs, but diseases like uh, Parkinson's, uh, Alzheimer's, and diabetes have all been connected with increases in reactive oxygen species. Yeah. This uh, increase in, in ROS can be significant uh, in tissues like the pancreas, for example, or uh, electromagnetic radiation can also have impacts on the binding of insulin to receptors in the intracellular space. So we understand how this works 